That is what all of, all of us have predicted. We all know. Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I hope you're all doing I'm also doing so very well as you can see. Yeah, so if you're new here, I'm coming at you straight from Ghana, which is in West Africa. So all of you, welcome to Ghana, the gateway to Africa. We are at the Black Star Square. For those of you who are new here, you may not know where exactly this place is. This place is in the center of Accra, one of the most visited, if not the most visited, uh, tourist attractions here in Accra. It is right in the city and this is how the whole place looks like, the ambience. As you can see, there are constructions going on right now. You can see behind me here, we have the trip of sand parked here that they are using to, you know, renovate the whole place. You know, keep a crack clean project. Yeah, keeping the whole place clean as you can see. Yeah, so with me is a very important person in my life and I would like to introduce him to you guys oh my goodness you guys i don't know if you're ready for it especially those who are new here because if you're not new you might have seen this person before and this person is in the person of baba mala <laughs> my daddy how are you wow it's been quite a long time i hope you had a safe journey coming to Accra. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling the air here very well. I know the sea breeze is falling on me. That I shower. Hey, <laughs> it's falling. <laughs> the sea breeze is doing well. Yes, it's falling on me. Feeling well, I'm very fine. Okay. Well, once I am in the capital of Ghana. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, it's been quite a time that you visited this place. So, what can you say? About yes, the yes, whole yes, place, yes, uh, cons yeah, still taking place. Yes, 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 it wasn't like like this. It was not dressed as it is now. It's now being dressed, so I can say there is a very big change, and I, I can congratulate the, 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 the government of Ghana that is doing well in some of the things. Okay. All right, so this morning you were talking about General Ignatius Kutu Echampo. Yes. So when you mentioned Echampo, what came to mind was the Echampo leaves. I remember when we were young, we were using those leaves to dress our fresh wounds, you know, to stop them from bleeding. So can you elaborate on that? It is true that what we have said is correct. Yes, uh, Echampo leaf is medicinal, as we have just said. Mm -hmm. It is also good for cultivation uh, of crops wherever it wherever it grows mm -hmm. on the land. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, this plant was brought from America by Ignatius Kutu Ajampo, the former head of state of this country, Ghana, in the 70s. Okay. When this list was brought to Ghana, mm -hmm. everybody, uh, as time goes on for about one or two years after, mm -hmm. everybody appreciated the, the, the tree. Mm -hmm. Because it's a fertilizer, wherever it is, it, has grown, it gives the land more fertility. Okay. More fertile. The land becomes more fertile yes. on any land that a champon plant is grown. Yes. They grow by themselves, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Basically, it serves as a fertilizer, right? Yes, yes it's a the plant. So, is that the main reason it was brought? That is what all of, all of us have predicted. We all knew it was brought because of farming. So, from then, this plant has spread all over this country. In the Shanti region, if you go, you see a champo there. If you go to Isi region, Volta region, you see it. Mm -hmm. Yes, a champo has done well. And after doing all these things, then a champo saw this and uh, so he introduced what we call Operation Kill Yourself when he was then the, uh, the head of state. Uh -huh of this country okay. the national, as a national redemption council chairman after a coup d'etat 
how all right guys that. so you know let me just summarize everything that my dad was saying right he was talking about the acham pump plant it is called in english the chromolina odorata that is the botanical name or it's nomenclature <laughs> so that plant i got to know it when i was very young at that time i was staying with my grandma in bong right bong is very close to shy hills it's on the way to shy hills off the tema akosombo road like he said it is used as a fertilizer for cultivating plants and crops and also used for preserving dead bodies you know in those days there were not a lot of uh, uh, mugs or mortuaries especially in the villages so they were using those leaves for preserving crops until they are buried and this particular plant was brought to Ghana by General Kutu Echampo. Who is the chairman? The chairman of the NRC National Redemption Council. Okay, the chairman of the NRC National Redemption Council. That topples Dr. Busia's regime. Okay, he's saying that he topples Dr. Busia's regime because at the time Dr. Busia government has devaluated the city by 44 percent right and he was against that so he had to plan a coup to remove dr busia to become the next head of state of ghana when he became the head of state of ghana in 1972 then he introduced the operation feed yourself and he also was against the payment of loans that were you know loaned from imf and the world bank and all that he was he was against it and he introduced the yen Tia policy you understand so that was when he introduced the yen Tia policy and also the operation feed yourself so that we do not you know import food from any other country but with the introduction of this you know you know people of ghana were against it and eventually he had to be overthrown. Yeah, I'll do a detailed story or presentation on this in my next video. But this is a very summarized version of all that my dad was saying. So I can say he was a good president. But you know, the colonizer doesn't like the good leaders of Africa. So all. My father said I shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> Let's go and ride a horse. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to ride. Mark, mark the corner Uh, 